In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can draw a quadratic or a cubic. With the example on the left hand side, I need to draw y is equal to 5x squared plus 5 between the range of x being 0 and 5. The first thing to do is draw a table of values. So for x being 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I need to square it, times it by 5, add 5, in order to get my y value. So let's start off with working out what x squared is. x squared is 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. Then multiplying this by 5 gives me 5x squared, which would be 0, 5, 20, 45. 80 and 125. To find my y value, I need to add 5 to it. So y is equal to 5x squared plus 5. So this will be 5, 10, 25, 50, 85, and 130. From this table of values, I can get my coordinates. The first being 0, 5. The second being 1, 10. The third, 2, 25. The third being 3 and 50. The fourth is 485. And finally, 5 and 130. Now, because the greatest power in the graph that I'm trying to draw was x squared, this will be a nice smooth curve. So I now join all of these points up with a smooth curve. Pause the video here and have a go at the question on the right hand side. When you're ready for the answer, press play. So like with the example on the left hand side, I'm going to first create a table of values. But this time x needs to be between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. To create y, I need to do 4x cubed and then take away 5 lots of x. So to begin, find x cubed. 1, 8, 27, 64, 125 and 216. Now multiply all of these values by 4. That will give me 4x cubed being 4, 32, 108, 256, 5, hundred and eight hundred and sixty four. I also need to work out what five x is. So five times one is five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, and thirty. To find y I do four x cubed take away five x. This will then give me 4 take away 5 is negative 1. 32 take away 10 is 22. 108 take away 15 is 93. 256 take away 20 is 236. 500 take away 25 is 475. And finally, 864 take away 30 is 834. As before, I can get all of my coordinate pairs by combining the x and the y values. So my first coordinate is 1, negative 1. My second will be 2, 22. Third will be 3 and 93. And so on. Plot in all of the points.
and joining with a smooth curve. I've now drawn the graph of y equals 4x cubed minus 5x.